on the Washington update side with infrastructure and social spending. You know, tell us what we what we've seen so far and what we can expect. Yeah, the the House Democrats are taking sort of an all or nothing strategy at this point. So not moving on the infrastructure bill, which has bipartisan support until there's more progress made on a much broader social spending bill. And the devil that's in the details is trying to get the moderate Democrats on board for the tax hikes that would be associated with the social spending bill. And all of this happened, you know, talking about three and a half trillion dollars and so on and so forth, while the debt ceiling has been reinstated and the Treasury uh, stated that they're going to run out of money to fund government operations by mid to late October. A lot of stuff going on. Um, the, the big bills, the big plans that Congress is going to be talking about in September and October. The infrastructure deal is it's it's in the House. Um, so the Senate approved a bipartisan infrastructure deal, 550 billion. Generally liked on both sides. Uh, it has um, uh, the public generally is in favor of this type of a bill. Everybody agrees agrees that this is important stuff, but it's right now being held hostage by. The House Democrats, who are really taking uh, at this point, their strategy is sort of an all-or-nothing approach, um, where you know we're not going to pass the infrastructure unless we can get traction on a much larger social spending agenda of three and a half trillion. So that's the that's their strategy right now. We're going to see over the next couple of months if they stick to that strategy, or if they go back to looking at these two things separately and saying, let's get infrastructure done. That seems like a crowd pleaser. Let's get that done before we go into to midterm. So a, a, a lot will come uh, come from Capitol Hill here over the next couple of months on those items. Seeing what's happening over the next few months as it translates into potential midterm uh, elections next year, some of these moderate Democrats, we're really not sure what they're where they're going to land in support of this, the social elements of this. So uh, a lot to be seen here, and and really, I think perhaps transformative, looking three or four years out. Yeah, yeah, and the the tax hikes part. So the social spending bill, three and a half trillion. There, that has to be backed up by revenues, um, increased tax revenues. So. Um, we're going to see a lot more information. The House Ways and Means Committee is going to be drafting new tax policy. And you're going to see a lot more information about what, who's in favor of what tax increases and, and all that information. But at this point, it doesn't seem like the moderate Democrats are on board with the tax hikes. We know the Republicans aren't on board with the tax hikes. So that most likely, in our view, is going to be what determines whether ultimately determines whether or not this package gets through the social spending element. Um, so that, and then, you know, the debt ceiling is also on the table, which is, which is very interesting. So, you know, as Congress reinstated the debt ceiling, it was suspended through COVID, but they reinstated it effective August 1st. And so the U S treasury has had no net new issuance since August 1st. Um, and that's put some downward pressure on on treasury yields or sort of capped treasury yields. And as of now, it looks like there's going to be a lot of posturing on the debt ceiling debate as well. Uh, nobody wants to do anything to raise the debt ceiling. And the treasury is saying, well, we have enough money to basically fund the government and our operations through mid to late October. So we're going to be watching that as well. So it'll all be very interesting to watch, very interesting to see how the different strategies play out. And, uh, you know, whether any of this gets done. 